welcome to my class so in this video we are going to see what is a balanced diet and what are the disease that cause when the there is a deficiency of nutrients in our body so what is a balanced diet the food we intake if it has right amount of all these five nutrients is called a balanced diet so what are three types of food that is energy giving food body building food and protective food so for example if the food we intake which has carbohydrates and fat means it gives us energy it gives us energy to do all the works and if we intake the food which has a rich amount of protein means uh, means it is helping us to build our body next if the uh, food we intake it has vitamins and minerals means it is helping us to protect us from all the diseases so if you intake the food which has right amount of all these five nutrients is called a balanced diet so now we saw how important the balanced diet is and due to some reasons some people are deficiency in this uh, balanced diet okay now we will see what are the reasons first is the poverty so due to poverty some couldn't uh, able to fulfill their uh, daily food with the full amount of balanced diet i mean the full amount of all the nutrients in their food so first reason is poverty in our india mostly about 30% of children are affected and they have malnutrition because of these poverty and the next is lack of awareness it means that not all of them uh by this video you will understand how the important the balanced diet is but most of them doesn't know the importance of nutrients so uh, lack of awareness the balanced diet is i mean the nutrients are deficiency in some people and next is see in some religions some food or some um food items are forbidden because of the religious purpose so third reason is because of religious and the next is the discrimination uh, in some religious side even still now women and girls are discriminated in their home house because of that they may not get the enough amount of food or the nutrients for their healthy body and the next is that unscientific methods uh, in some food items in um, they have not processed well so if it the food is not processed well means there will not be enough amount of nutrition nutrients in the food so these are the reasons why uh, some people are affecting in uh, i mean some lacks in the nutrients do you all this tell you to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables yes of course do you know why it's because fruits and vegetables contain ions if the food we intake doesn't have iron in it do you know what happens a disease called anemia will cause a person suffering from anemia as actually lacks low hemoglobin content in the blood you know what is a hemoglobin it's a substance in the blood that carries the oxygen so what happens if there is no oxygen in our body the anemia persons will actually feel very sick often they will fall sick often and they will be always looking very tired this anemia is nothing but the disease which is caused when there is lack of iron in the food and if you eat foods like spinach and other green vegetables fruit slice goa apple bananas pulses these things actually has rich source of iron which will improve your body health do you know what happens when the food we intake doesn't have vitamin d in it the rickets will cause this will cause the bones to be very soft and it can be easily bent that's why if you see in a uh, ricket affected persons their legs will be bow legged because their bones becomes very soft and it was bent it easily how can we rectify that if you drink milk and also sorry the milk cash calcium and phosphorus also will make the bones and teeth hard so if you drink like milk which has vitamin d is also uh, called the sun sunshine vitamin because it is produced in the body when the skin is exposed to sunlight if the food we intake has a vitamin 
deficiency in vitamin C means scurvy disease will be caused. Actually, this causes bleeding and swelling of the gums, loose teeth, as well as pain in the joints and red spots under the skin. These gums get easily infected. Eating foods like um, orange, grapes, lemon, uh, alma, all these things will help you to increase the vitamin C in our body. Deficiency in iodine causes goiter disease. Iron deficiency not only lead to goiter but also affects the physical and mental tell. So what is goiter? There is a swelling in the neck. It will cause a swelling in the neck. And how can we prevent it? By adding salt in the most common method and preventing the iron deficiency in our body. Deficiency in vitamin B causes beriberi. In the suffering from beriberi, these, these are the, uh, there will be a loss of appetite and this tongue will become sore and cracks appears at the corner of the mouth and the skin of the hand becomes rough, dry and scary. As well as the nervous system and the heart also will get affected due to the vitamin B deficiency. So if you intake the food, which is rich in vitamin B, like cereals, pulses, green leaf vegetables, whole grain, tomatoes, milk liver. So these will help you to prevent those diseases. Lack of vitamin A in the diet causes night blindness. A person suffering from night blindness actually finds it very hard to see during the dim light. The eyes will become dull and the triangular patches will appear on the white portions of the eyes and the skin and of course the skin will become dry and scary. So in vitamin A deficiency together with protein malnutrition often affects the preschool children. So if you intake the foods like carrots, papaya, pumpkin, mango, milk curd and which will help you to different uh, not to differentiate the vitamin A in your body. So in this video you understood the importance of balanced diet. So if there is any one nutrient is missing in that diet means what happens see what happens that disease will be caused. So it is very important to intake the food with a balanced amount of all the nutrients. Thank you kids. Mm -hmm.